Okay, so what we have here is a vinyl tile floor. These are the cheap square kind that are just the uh, peel and stick style of vinyl tile. And this tile is in my office. And today we are going to go ahead and replace this cheap vinyl tile with real wood floor. And we're going to do this entire project for less than $80. So stay with me and I'll show you how it's done. Let's get started. The room we're working in is 111 square feet and we're going to be using four sheets of quarter inch sanded plywood for this project. That gets me perfect coverage for that room. So I'm going to go ahead and start with these panels and cut each one of these panels into four inch strips. Let's keep going. And just so that you can see that I'm going to be doing this project on the super cheap, take a look at this beat down old table saw I'm using. The adjustment knob there is broken. The top deck has been replaced with some beat up old diamond plate. But this is the saw I'm going to be using to make all my cuts. Just to show you that you don't need fancy tools to complete this project. A regular circular saw with a nice straight line will work just as well. I'm going to be using this Poly Shade Men Wax Pecan Shade Finish Stain and I'm going to be putting an additional coat of polyurethane on the project when it's completely done. Alright, well back to the project itself. As you can see, I've cut all of those boards into 4 inch strips. And now I'm going to cut my 4 inch strips down to a variety of different sizes just so that my floor is going to have a staggered look. So that's the next step in the project. To save time on this project I went ahead and cut all my boards into 4 foot lengths and then alternated with the additional length that I needed for the length of the room. So in my case, those are four foot boards and then boards that are about three foot, 11 or so inches. Actually three foot, maybe nine inches, I think. So that's what all the cut boards look like. I'm going to go ahead and pre-stain them. So let's do that next. Okay. I let those, uh, I got those boards stained, as you can see, and I let them sit 24 hours. So they sat up overnight and they got a pretty good sheen on them. Went over them with a little steel wool, smoothed them out a little bit. And that's about all the prep work we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and get this floor laid down. Okay, so here we are back in the room itself. And you can see how I have pulled up all that old linoleum tile. And I'll be working a section at a time because I have furniture in this room still. And um, I've got a subfloor here that's pretty smooth that I'm working with. So I'm pretty fortunate in that respect. So it's just a matter of lining up the boards along the wall and getting started. So let's go ahead and do it. And there you can see how we started the pattern there. Long board, short board. Actually, it's long board, long board, short board, and then the opposite coming back from the other wall. So it's long board, long board, short board, long board, long board, short board, alternating back and forth across the room. And all I'm doing is putting these down with a pneumatic nailer. And you can't even see the nails. And there you go. I'm about halfway through with the room at this point. You can see the sheen that I'm getting here with that just very simple coat. And now I got to move all my furniture so I can alternate and do the other half of the room. So let me go ahead and get all that done. Okay, so I swapped the furniture to the other side of the room and I went ahead and just continued from where I left off and made my way all the way across the entire room. And there you can see the room without the polyurethane, the final coat of polyurethane on it. And you can see where I cut around the, the vent there. And let's go ahead and see what it looks like after I put that coat of polyurethane on there. So there you go. That's the completed room with the baseboard trim put back on. And you can see the difference. This entire project cost right around $83 total. That's including all the wood and all the stain and polyurethane including the brushes that I used to apply the polyurethane. So, quite a bit of difference. 
classed up the room quite a bit. Wood floors on the cheap. And I'll just go ahead and show you a quick version of what the room looks like after I got the rugs back in there. Just a little bit of extra protection for my floor so I don't wear it out too quickly. See my bike with the turbo trainer there in the background. And that's about it. This has been a fairly simple project. Again, done on the cheap. And you can see the difference in the room, the dramatic difference in the style. And hopefully you like it as much as I do. Or maybe you can come up with your own design for your room. So, just thought I'd take a minute to share this video with you. And I'll see you next time around.